in 2011 we saw the first flight with KLM. That was the first commercial flight on sustainable aviation fuels. Um, and then we've seen a lot of first and single flights all around the world. So Sky Energy, for example, supplied over 25 airlines on all continents in the world. Uh, but those were all uh, sort of pilot projects or demonstration phase projects. And since then, we've seen a lot of developments in, in moving towards series of flights. So, for example, Lufthansa did a large series of flights. KLM did a couple of series of flights um, to prove that it was usable on a more sort of sustainable longer term scale. Um, but now we really see, OK, a next step towards more supply chain development and an actual long term supply. So, therefore, you also see the, the agreements we have with KLM to, to, to use the fuel on the longer term. Uh, we do that with Altair Fuels. It's the only facility in the world currently producing sustainable aviation fuel uh, on a continuous scale. Uh, but we, we, we want to do more. Uh, so, there is a, a sort of shortcoming or, or a deficit of supply. And therefore, this project like Bio4A is really good because we can uh, increase the production capacity in Europe or we can prove that we can use new feedstocks uh, and new capacity in, in Europe. We're looking at producing the fuel and, and using as much as possible the existing uh, supply chains that exist for the fossil fuel. Um, and with the, the certifications in place, that, that shouldn't be an issue.